Well, in his 40s, um, Ignacio described his soul as a thin synthesis of the very complex nature of what we have within. It is the physical and chemical nature of our past generations, our ideas, our readings, our aspirations, deceptions, and in his case, in addition, his medical preparation, his state for state, tastes for music, poetry, and other arts, the mountains he has climbed, the oceans he has crossed, and the all-powerful need to find a way to improve the lives of others, most particularly of children. The other day, while putting books and articles and papers in order in his office on the third floor of our home, I came across a two-page, single-spaced, long letter of February 2002 to the editor of the JBJS, the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery, about their errors in the instructional course on congenital club foot. What impressed me greatly was the detailed explanation of why each error not only would prevent the correction of the club foot, but would make it worse. And he explained in detail how bones should be moved and ligaments stretched in order to congruently redress the foot. In other words, the letter is a delicately polite lesson about the proper correction. Because the club foot deformity is caused by the defective baby myosin in the womb when the fetus begins to kick, Ignacio was anxious to find a way to prevent the deformity from ever arising. So for the last two years of his life, he has been going over uh, papers on myosin, as I have also discovered in, in his office upstairs. He already knew a great deal about myosin. For instance, in the spine of scoliotic fish, It's very visual. But what I found was a long list of papers, 27 or 30 or more, about perinatal myosin, its effect on hormones, on muscle strength, on ventricle performance, on cardiomyopathy, in adult chicken skeletal muscle, of fast and slow myosin, in muscular proteinases, I think you pronounce it like that, I don't know in cattle, their hybrids, in the middle ear of do dogs and cats, on the human brain, arteries, heart, everywhere. So if it's everywhere, I am wondering, is myosin a substance of primary importance for life? which at times goes the wrong way. This occurred to me yesterday while I was going through all this. Whether Ignacio could have found a way to prevent the club foot from arising in the womb, maybe not. But in the 1940s, on the basis of his precise knowledge of anatomy, acquired in the outstanding University of Barcelona in those days, he because the doctors uh, in, Bar in Barcelona had gone to Germany, to England, to France, to the United States, and learned there from the best doctors in the various specialties of, uh, of orthopedics. And so that was a very good university. He found the non-surgical uh, correction of the deformity, except for the harmless section, sectioning of the tendo Achilles, which in a baby regenerates longer in about three, four weeks maybe, so the heel comes down to the ground. And since the foot is held in place with a bar and sandals for 
the two, three, sometimes even four years when the baby has to keep the correction in place, but only when the baby sleeps. And of course, small babies sleep all the time, so it's all the time there. But when they start walk, uh, crawling, the bars are taken off, so the children are growing like any other children who start crawling and then walking and then running. And after four years, adult myosin kicks in, and the, the child is uh, normal for life. So I don't think I have anything else. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yes. <laughs> I had forgotten. Uh, now at home in his 90s, when his recent memory was failing, he loved listening to music. And when turning on the radio in the middle of a classic composition, he knew the name of the piece, the composer, the conductor, the country of origin, and the period. His memory for the past remained intact to his last days. And finally, I want to take this occasion to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for the letters of condolence so numerous that I could not possibly thank you individually, but they have given me the courage to talk to you today. <laughs> <laughs>